Hello everyone, Jolene here from Bookworm Adventure Girl. Welcome back. I hope that you are all well. And if you are new, thanks for checking out my channel. Please hit subscribe and stick around. We are already into August and normally I would have done a book haul revisit in July uh, before this book haul, but last year there was actually no book haul to revisit because I was in the middle of moving across the country. So I am just going to do uh, the regular monthly book haul video that I normally do, even though it's already August. So I have seven books to talk about today. Um, and among the seven books are a biography of a Canadian icon, a most anticipated book of the year, uh, a recommendation that I picked up, and a controversial Canadian classic. So I'm going to start uh, with a book called Get Em Young, Treat Em Tough, Tell Em Nothing, and this is by Robin McLean. So to be honest, I'm not sure how I feel about this book yet. This is a collection of 10 short stories that take place all around the US. Some of the things that have me intrigued is that it says they are dark, profane, and hilarious, yet ultimately humane. Um, the theme is the question of how do we live a decent life. And it also says, here you'll find hatred, friendship, and pitch black humor all seething in the same stew. So that had me intrigued and I'm hoping that these will be good short stories. Um, I will have to let you know once I read it. Next is the book from the Republic of Consciousness and that book is Chinatown by Thuan, I think you say it. I'm not sure how to say the author's name. This is translated from the Vietnamese by Win Ann Lee. And this might be a good read if you are looking for books to read for Women in Translation Month uh, in August. So this is the 12th book by this author, but it's the first one that has been translated into English. And the main character is a Vietnamese woman who um, is teaching in Paris. Her husband has been missing for several years, I think like 10 or 11 years. And from what it sounds like, the book is written in a way that it might be a stream of consciousness. Um, at least it sounds like, you know, you are in the main character's mind while she kind of remembers her life. So this book is short, it's less than 200 pages, but it sounds like it will be a bit complex. The next book I picked up was a biography, uh, Buffy St. Marie, The Authorized Biography, and this is by Andrea Warner. And I will be talking about this book in a, my uh, July wrap up in just a couple of days. But I was so happy to read this book because Buffy St. Marie, in my opinion, is such an underrated Canadian icon and has had so many influences that people don't even you know, know about, they just don't realize. So in this biography, it covers a bit of her personal life, her talents as a musician and a singer. Uh, but I think for me, most importantly, it was like her approach to her work and what is important to her. So stay tuned for more about this book in uh, my next video. Next on the pile is one of my most anticipated books of the year, and that is Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I have read two other books by Emily Henry, uh, Bee Treat, which I really, really enjoyed. I'm pretty sure I gave it five stars. And then I also read People We Meet on Vacation, which was probably like a, I'd say a three and a half star read for me. So I'm hoping that this one will be a four to five star read. Of course, I always want them to be five star reads, but um, this book takes place in the month of August. So if I can get to it this month, that would be great. I do have a lot planned for this month though, so we'll see. Uh, the main character, Nora, and her sister Libby spend the month of August in North Carolina. And while there, Nora, who is a literary agent, keeps bumping into Charlie, who is a book editor. So I'm not sure if this is an enemies to lovers trope or if using the whole book lovers idea is just going to be a grab, um, but I'm hoping for good things. Uh, you know, I just really want a lighthearted rom-com summer read. So we'll see how it goes. 
The next book that I want to share is one of my favorite authors. Um, I've only read three, maybe four of his books so far, but I do eventually want to read all of them. So I picked this one up, uh, Trying to Save Piggy Sneed by John Irving. This is a short story collection of 12 stories, and I've never read any of Irving's short stories, so I will be interested to see you know, how they stand up to his novels. I love how he writes his characters. One of my all-time favorite novels um, is A Prayer for Owen Meany. Uh, so I'm just kind of wondering if he is able to write such well-developed characters and then, of course, also have a good story in his short fiction. And some of these are supposed to be autobiographical as well. So I think there's a mix of fiction and nonfiction. And then there's also an essay on Charles Dickens. So if you are a fan of Dickens, that might interest you. Um, I have high hopes for this one. The next book I picked up was a recommendation from Eric Carl Anderson, and that is Mothering Sunday by Graham Swift. Um, on one of Eric's videos, I commented saying that Graham Swift's novel, Here We Are, was underrated, and Eric replied with this recommendation. And uh, I actually believe he has talked about this in a couple of videos now. Uh, so if I can find those, I will leave links to the videos in the description box below. Um, at the center of this story is an affair between 16-year-old Jane Fairchild, who is working as a maid in an English country house, and a house nearby is where Paul Sheringham lives and who um, she is having an affair with. And I believe the book is written in dual timelines, and we learn, you know, more about who Jane is and what she's all about. So I have loved Graham Swift's writing, so I am hoping that I will uh, enjoy this just as much. And then the final book that I picked up is a controversial Canadian classic called Bear by Marian Engel. I have been wanting to read this book for quite some time. Uh, Marian Engel has written several books. The Honeymoon Festival, I think it is, is another one that I'd like to read at you know some point. Uh, but this book is probably her most well-known or the most talked about because it's known as the book where the main character uh, has sex, sort of, uh, with a bear on a remote island. So that's all that's usually said about this book, but I have a feeling uh, or at least I'm hoping that there's more to it than that. So I am going to read it and I will find out and I will let you all know. So those are the seven books that I hauled in July. Please let me know if you have read any of these or if you uh, have any interest in, in any of them and let me know what books have you picked up recently that you are hoping to get to soon. I look forward to chatting with you in the comments. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and don't forget to make every day an adventure.